Well, this should be fun, I reckon. Three fast, quick, feisty, fun little hot hatches on circuit, nose to tail. I think this is going to be quite exciting. Now, remember, hit that subscribe button now, and whenever we do a video like this, you'll see it straight away. You'll never miss one. Go on, hit that button. Which is the fastest Super Mini hot hatchback, though? Is it the Mini that you see there? Super Mini, it's a Mini. Mini Cooper S. Following it is a Ford Fiesta ST. I am in a Toyota Yaris GRMN, Gazoo Racing something something. Old school 1.8 litre supercharged engine. This should be interesting. I don't have a good feeling about keeping up with these two. Saunders, how much power does your Mini make? Uh, 192 metric. So what's that, 189 Her Majesties? Dan, I forget exactly how much the Fiesta's got. It's one eight something, seven something. It's 200. Uh, so Call it 197 in old money. I love this car. I haven't driven it on the road, so I can't really tell you how angry it is as a road car, but it feels, as a track car, absolutely superb. It's so really nicely balanced. It feels really agile. I mean, really, really agile. Great linear power delivery with a real kick to it. Lotus have tuned this 1.8 motor, and it feels like it's got a real almost like a, a Honda VTEC-ish kick. Skips over curbs beautifully. That's the short answer. It's pulling away from the Mini quite convincingly. It's so cool, makes a great noise. I am not having to wring the neck of it to pull distance out on the Mini. In fact, I didn't even have traction and stability control off until just then. Certainly should have enough power, this Mini. Plenty of torque. Lots of turbocharged torque, a lot more torque than that Toyota's we've got, but I suspect the problem is grip. It's just not on particularly special tyres, this car. It's on run flats, the dreaded run flat. So the little Yaris is starting to edge away from the Mini. The Mini's down a bit on power, but I suspect this is about tyres. It just doesn't have the grip on those Pirelli Cinturato tyres. They're not really high-performance tyres. So it's no surprise that car doesn't have the same grip. I can see him washing out wide, and I'm not really having to work particularly hard to stay with him. It just doesn't grip the track very hard, unfortunately. Oh, Pryor is on it, he's going for it. But yeah, my mirrors are very full of Fiesta. And my steering rack is quite full of understeering places, if that makes any sense. He's wide, he's wide, but he is going away. Unfortunately, the Toyota is dropping me slowly and that Ford is all over me, like a rash. I'm gonna to have to let him pass at some point, I think. The trouble with this Mini is, game as it is, it just hasn't got the minerals. It's not really hanging on hard enough. It's not carrying the speed through the apex. And when it comes to it, it's just pushing on a bit at the front. Storm, it doesn't look like you've got the grip in that car to keep up. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done. I'm gonna let you pass, mate. Mate, come through, because I haven't got a chance, go on. Much obliged. Yeah, right, Fiesta is passing the Mini and giving chase. So let's have a go and see if I can keep the Fiesta behind. Such good fun, this car. We've got 50 metres to make up on the little Yaris. Let's see if we can close him down. I know I've got more grip. Michelin Super Sport tyres. We've got more mechanical grip, about the same power. Let's see if we can hunt him down. How about this car then? It's fun to drive. But what I've noticed is that it has its limits. If you overstep them on track, it just becomes a bit scruffy. It becomes ragged and not as satisfying as it is out on the road. Oh, oh, it's fast, that Ford. It's very fast. Now, I suspect Paddy Hopkirk couldn't keep up with that Ford in this Mini. In his pomp, it's just not got enough grip. This is a car that's more fun to drive on circuit at eight or nine tenths than it is at ten tenths. Maybe that's wrong for a hot hatch. Maybe a hot hatch should get better and better and better the harder you push. But it's certainly got some performance. I think we're just starting to close on that Yaris a little bit. We've got really good mechanical grip on these Michelins. Precise steering, good power, and adjustable chassis balance. It's not just 
acres of understeer, you can adjust its line mid-corner, which is really good fun. It's good win this contest in terms of fun. I'm not sure it's the it's going to be faster than the Ford, but I'm having a great time. That's the short of it. If there is a moral to this story, it's probably if you want a hot hatchback, buy a hot hatchback. You know this. Cooper S has sort of become a trim level, hasn't it, over the years? It's a nice car, it's quick, it's good fun. So nice. What's the steering like? It is light and being electrically assisted, there's not, you know, there's not loads of feel, but there's there's enough feel of what it's up to. And the chassis is that nicely balanced between ends that you just you just know what it's doing. That Fiesta is catching me. Especially if I do that. Slightly unstable under braking. He doesn't have the tyres on that car. So really, we should just be hunting him down every lap. I think we're a little bit closer now than we were. This left hand is fast. But you really feel how sweetly balanced this Fiesta is through there. Oh, it's not out of the power zone there. And Dan is very, very close. I think one more lap. Oof. Especially if I understeer massively like that. One more lap and he will absolutely have the measure of me. <laughs> this is fantastic. Yeah, I'm giving it up. I think we hunted him down there. Whew, he got away from the Mini, but I think we hunted him down there quite nicely. This car is definitely quicker. There's no doubt about it. It looks to me like the simple answer is the Fiesta is the faster car here, followed by the Toyota, followed by some margin by the Mini. But I've had quite a lot of fun doing it. But loads of fun doing it. This, this car's so cool. It's such a cool car. Dan, mate, I'm sorry. You were absolutely gone. There was nothing I could do to follow you, and I see you, uh, you caught Matt up pretty quickly. I think Almost all of that can be put down to my driving talent. No, sorry, I mean put down to the tires. I can just see that you guys don't have the mechanical grip to hold tight lines, to carry big speed through quick corners. Yep, I think you're right, mate. It's got a hell of a front end on it, that Ford. And, uh, well, it's got proper tires. Beginning and the end of it, mate.